In this video, we cover the Thorn Princess herself that is your briar, or is it Forger now, from the popular anime Spike's Family, and why she's waifu material. Some mild spoilers for the first season. Appearance wise, she's got innocent red eyes and long black hair that's held in place by a curved hairband, which comes in varying designs. All this put together gets her that innocent look, but looks can be deceiving. By day, she works as an assistant at City Hall, safeguarding her boss's coffee. <laughs> At night, she moonlights as an assassin, and a rather polite one. Together with her signature style of weapons, she can clear a room in seconds. Safe to say, she's a total badass. At the start of season 2, they revealed that she's gained immunity to all sorts of toxins. So when she accidentally drank the blowfish poison, it just numbed the pain she was experiencing. As to where that pain was, I think we can put that behind us. As for how she gained this family, with this double life, she can't afford to be compromised. But rising tensions in spy rumors hasn't made it easy, as apparently it's highly unusual for a woman at her age to still be single. As a lonely 27-year-old female working at City Hall, this makes you all the more worried. On top of that, she had just been invited to a party by one of her co-workers, with expectations of a plus one. Desperate fighting partner, when she came across Lloyd Forger, she didn't have stay at all. <laughs> A few moments later. Okay, she has a shy side as well. After agreeing to attend as a couple, a botched spy job causes Lloyd to show up late and a little confused. On the drive home, the two were attacked, where we see that Yor can be a bit gullible. You could say she's a simple type of girl, cutely requesting a marriage of convenience with Lloyd, and happily accepting a simple grenade pin for a rather explosive engagement. Adding to her simplicity, when they moved in together, you didn't have a lot of stuff, thus making it easy to. Well, that was fast. From that day on, they were known as Mr. and Mrs. Forger, complete with an adopted daughter named Anya, who has quite the imagination and can sometimes be a handful. <laughs> Despite the slim figure, Yor possesses an ungodly amount of strength, enough to smash a pumpkin with her bare hand. Just imagine getting slapped by that. She even accidentally broke her brother's ribs while hugging him too hard. Oh, and let's not forget that time Agent Nightfall, I mean Fiona, challenged Yor to a tennis match, where her serve was so hard that she literally sliced the tennis ball like an onion. My thoughts exactly. After toning it down a bit, your second serve evolved into some kind of energy blast, where despite Fiona's attempt to return, ends up vaporizing Fiona's racket along with her spirit. Gullible as she is, don't challenge Yor physically. Stemming from the fact that she throws bodies around for a living, this also makes Yor the ideal dodgeball player, who you could say has a killer throw. <laughs> Scary, I know. In some way, having this level of power makes reading her thoughts all the more scary. She once even entertained the idea of killing a parent just to get Anya into Eden Academy. At other times, her past experiences are reflected in her uh, interesting word choice. Also, she has this strange fascination with blades. Now it's not all upper body strength either, as Yor can really kick. So much so that she wants the perfect parry on a tray of food. 
And let's not forget that time she dealt her own version of physical therapy to Lloyd's clients. <laughs> physical strength aside, you're also as incredible finesse. Prior to the school interviews, a stampede of wild animals appeared, thus forcing Yor to use her pressure point technique on the leader. Like any good mother, she tries to pass on these important skills to Anya, starting with the usual cardio, visualization, and of course, strength training. After a close call with some kidnappers, Yor teaches Anya some basic self defense, which ends up getting used on her very first day. When it comes to running the house, she's pretty good at keeping things clean, given all the uh, field experience she's had. Just make sure to keep her away from the kitchen. Later that night. While she is just a pretend wife and mother for the Forger family, this doesn't make her love any less real. While Yor and Lloyd haven't really shared a bed, much less a kiss, you can tell that they care very much for each other, and do their best to take care of Anya. Boof. Oh, and Bond too. They say that when you marry someone, you marry their family as well. While Yor doesn't have any parents for Lloyd to worry about, she does have a younger brother called Yuri, who works for the government, and you could say has a bit of a sister complex. In fact, if it was legal, he'd probably marry his sister. This little obsession is thanks to how Yor single-handedly raised him, doing quote unquote shady jobs to pay the bills and bring home treats for him, which just shows that she's a good fit to be a mother in the Forger family. And lastly, Yuri absolutely loves Yor's cooking. <laughs> so what do you think of Yor Forger? Would you fake a marriage together with her? Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on Yor Forger, our favorite motherly assassin.